Hello everyone and welcome back to Filmbook Review, an official YouTube channel of Filmbook. Featured in Google News, IMDb's News Desk, and a member of the Critics' Choice Association, Filmbook is an entertainment industry news website that reports on the film and television show industries in the United States and across the world. Today on Filmbook Review, I will be reviewing the film Silver Haze, a movie that screened at the 2023 Tribeca Film Festival. Silver Haze is directed by Sasha Polak, written by Sasha Polak, and stars Vicky Knight, Esme Creed Miles, Charlotte Knight, Archie Brigden, and Angela Bruce. This is a Silver Haze movie review, and there will be spoilers. If you like our movie reviews, please like this Silver Haze film review as that helps us out with YouTube's algorithm and consider subscribing. Once subscribed, click the bell notification box and you are all set. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash filmbook. And now, the Silver Haze movie review. Silver Haze, directed by Sasha Polak, is a well-made story about family and the people we meet who can become our family. It is an intentionally messy story of passionate love and the way people's emotions can run deep, even if sometimes those we choose to love are not exactly the right fit for us in the end. This film is full of solid performances with two standout turns by the movie's leading actresses. Vicky Knight stars as a young woman named Frankie, who is a burn victim survivor from an event that happened over a decade ago. She now works as a nurse in a hospital and finds temporary solace in a relationship with an unpredictable woman who has survived a suicide attempt, Florence. Don't think you know where this story is headed, though, because you probably don't. This picture plays as real as life itself, and there are no cookie-cutter answers to the difficult questions that it poses throughout. Knight and Creed Miles take this movie to uncharted territory through intense performances that will reel the viewer into the film's vivid and realistic world. As the romance begins to blossom between Frankie and Florence, audiences might be able to predict that this is not a perfect romantic match. But that's it. What happens next is fascinating to behold. Frankie has had a relationship with a man and is now exploring her ambitions with someone who seems to understand her, but this new lover, Florence, is wild and erratic at times, which makes their relationship a bit volatile and ends up creating some energy that isn't always focused the right way. Angela Bruce plays Florence's grandmother, Alice, who befriends Frankie in one of the more superior aspects of this dramatic picture. Alice has cancer, and this makes her interaction with Frankie feel like it has an urgent nature which drives the scenes Bruce and Knight play together in the picture. Bruce delivers a standout turn with raw authenticity found in her work in this picture. Also in the movie is Florence's autistic brother Jack, who also has struggles that also make the story feel realistic in terms of the relationships and themes that it chooses to present. Of course, the movie juxtaposes Frankie and Florence's family with some subtle and powerful results all around. This, like life itself, is not a simple story. The complexity Polak brings to the table here makes the movie one to watch. While Vicky Knight is superb in her role, the most surprising aspect of her performance is that it's not meant to be the most showy one in the film, yet it somehow stands out slightly above the work from Creed Miles, who is still very good too, in what would initially seem to be the meteor part. Creed Miles' Florence is not the most likable character, though, and this is what drives Frankie away from her in certain scenes. Creed Miles takes a role which could have been simple and develops it through an intense series of scenes that will ring true to the viewer. Vicky Knight's sister, Charlotte Knight, is also in the movie as Leah, who has an interesting bond with Frankie throughout the film. Silver Haze takes its story to certain places that it probably shouldn't, and that's why it's a brave movie. Frankie's dissatisfaction with her past and present led her into a destructive relationship with Florence, but meeting Florence's family will ultimately change the way Frankie sees her life and her future. This picture certainly tackles a lot of difficult subjects, but is a bit ordinary as a character study. It is a tale of rage, forgiveness, family, and relationships. However, nothing dramatically devastating happens per se during the course of the picture. Frankie and Florence grow together and apart as characters in ways that will make audiences question what exactly their relationship is supposed to symbolize. That being said, Polak's direction rarely hits a false note. 
Knight and Creed Miles do make their characters vulnerable, and because of the quality of the acting, Silver Haze is a strong movie that will appeal to those who like stories of torn and broken characters trying to rebuild their lives and finding complicated challenges along the way instead. And that brings us to the conclusion of this Silver Haze movie review. I would love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comments section. If you liked what you heard during this review, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Please also visit and subscribe to our podcast channel at Filmbook Podcast and our trailer and reaction channel at Filmbook Trailers. If you would like to get Filmbook's articles delivered to your inbox, sign up for our daily newsletter in the description at film-book.com. Thank you for viewing, and you can watch one of these reviews next.